guys, I'm back, and this is how my twist out looks. And this just look really curly and tight, you know, as it shrink. The shrink is, is real, but I love it. It's cute. It's scruffy. I feel like a Nubian princess today, and that's what we're going to be doing. I'm about to go out and go look for some stuff, so I'll take y'all with me. Bloop, 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 bloop. Update. Hey y'all, and this is an update of how it looks after it's like it shrinks back down and it does all the natural things that it does. And now it just looks like a little short fro with a little bit of gel or curls to it. I feel like the curls are so thick and cool. Like you can't even see them at this point. It's just like little hair showing. I hope when it dries up that I can like do some cool stuff with it and make it cute. But yeah, y'all, I'm trying to, I wish I could see like the texture of it. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I can focus. Do y'all see anything? Comment down below. <laughs> but yeah, that's my curl pattern. It's a thicky, thicky, a 4C, boo. Women stand up. Love your coils, love your hair. And it's actually funny because I had a, a girl in my school tell me one day, you know, you, y'all be having like basically told me black girls, she was mixed. She told me black girls have forced curls. Them little forced dance curls. But actually, our curls are just, we have real curls. Like our curls are tight. Like we have millions of curls. You know, supposed to individual curl here and there. We have curls on curls on top of the curls and then my curl on top of the curl and my curl is on the top of the other curl and my curl is on the other two okay okay do you get it oh see don't let nobody dictate or make you feel like what you have is not good enough because i feel like once you've been brainwashed to feel like you're what you have as a black woman is not beautiful it's damaging and especially if you stay at that at that place where you you remember those little pe the, all those things that people told you about your natural state. So I'm reminding uh, reminding myself of that today as I go through the day that I'm gonna definitely do this look again because I like the way it looks. It's kind of like a Jerry curl, but oh, this is my life. That's the stuff I remember. I went through a lot as a young girl just trying to figure out what works for me and, you know, the things that you hear as a kid. It just be so damaging. Like, <laughs> my past trauma won't allow me to be everything I deserve. What's going on? But that's what I'm doing today. I ain't doing nothing like I'm chilling and I'm just like, what it is, what it is, what am I doing? I know people be mad that they don't know my business. I just want you to know, you will never know my business. You will never know what I'm doing. You will never know what's going on in my life. Only thing I'll let you know is what I want you to know. And that's that. So that's for the people who's looking and tr like trying to find pieces. It's no pieces to put together. Because what I give you is what I give you. Period. And yeah, hey y'all, so I'm running my errands in. I'm out with my pretty little fro, 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 fro. Can y'all see my curls better now? Let's take a, a trip down memory lane. I used to walk to this. Excellent. I don't think it was excellent. Yeah. To 
family store. I'm going to look for some stuff. This chair may be going home with me. To the thrift store. So cute. And this turned into a thrift store, old neighborhood. Come with me during the day vlog. And it's probably going to be a lot of vlogs in one, like I've done many times before. But yeah, y'all, I hope y'all enjoy this video when I get to all the places. I love coming in the Heights and going to thrift stores and finding new, different, eclectic pieces. So I'm going to just show you what I do when I'm off and I'm living life and just how I live as a Houston girl. Because I used to live in the Heights as a child. So this is nostalgia for me, honestly. Look at this. I wish I had wall to window. So I'm in here that's been to Eye of the Tiger and we have chosen a piece of furniture. Cause this is how we thrift. I thrift like this all the time. So I'm gonna show you which item I chose and I'm sure I only chose you one. No. Save me, bitch. I did that. <laughs> Houses are on the street. It never was like this. It just looks so freaking high end, y'all. Like it's it on a street called Wickman, and and it no longer exists. It's now some high rise. It's a high rise. And look, and so basically, we used to live. Next, right next door to the cemetery. You see the cemetery, but no Wickman. I was trying to show y'all my old neighborhood, and it doesn't exist. You can't this is even tell. My neighbor's old home. So basically, it's no place. This is the only thing I found. It's high rises. Yeah. <laughs> Facing the grave. <laughs> all sad memories and good memories. They all kind of happened, and my young life happened on. Rich, Wick, Wickman Street, and it don't even exist and anymore. Wickman Street is gone. Is it's it is disappeared, and I kind of feel bittersweet about it. My mom, she came a long way from that area, that space and time where she was trying to. She left with two children, a single woman, and she was looking for a new she is today, and we thank that place for. The bad and the good because it really it, it, it talks about resilience and another I ended up at Sprouts because things took a, a, a weird change so I'm just gonna take y'all with me through my day I don't think I'm gonna be thrifting anymore because I found something that I wanted and that's about it we're at Sprouts